Numerous mining camps are operating within the mining industry without land and equipment permits, among others. In order to solve this problem, wardens will be dispatched among mining camps to bring an end to illegal mining. Derek Lawrence, Director of Compliance within the Ministry of Natural Resources, told the Government Information Agency that order over chaos and corruption will soon come to the extractive industry sector. The Ministry of Natural Resources is on the verge of introducing into the entire extractive industry sector uh, a core of wardens who will come with law enforcement authority and will not tolerate illegal activities within the sector. The mighty force of wardens will come with power and authority, says Lawrence. When the core of wardens come into the sector, they will come with law enforcement authority. And so that would strengthen, even strengthen the enforcement some more. During the first sitting of the Commission of Inquiry into Mining Debts, Acting Commissioner of the GGMC, Newell Dennison, told the COI that indeed many mining drudges were operating illegally without being registered with the GGMC. This may have pushed the Ministry of Natural Resources to implement the mighty army of wardens. Listen to what Tennyson told the Commission recently. So, examining the issue at this point in time, in this circumstance, of course there's an alarm. But if there was not this particular circumstance, I would not have been as a lamb, because from time to time, I'm aware that the officers do encounter judges that are not registered and that they're given an opportunity to get themselves recognized. With the lack of qualified human resources in the sector, the wardens will soon fill that gap monitoring the sector, says Commissioner Dennison. He also spoke of the economic factors that are needed to fill the gap of illegal mining. If there is an immediacy of a law enforcement response that is required, those wardens are able to, to treat with that. So it is in that manner that I, I, I see it as, as, as trying to fill a gap that exists right now. We need to find alternatives that uh, would remove some of the pressure, some of the economic drivers that lead people into mining on the one hand and um, to create an atmosphere where if someone wants to get into mining they are properly prepared for it. Andrew Weeks reporting for Safe TV 2, Headline News.